Pisces, this is Sammy Lane. Thank you for being here. This is going to be your reading from today to the end of May. So this is your second half of May reading. I'm going to look into your starseed messages, Pleiadian messages. At least one, then we'll get a couple oracle cards. And do a little bit of tarot, a little bit of love, a little bit of finances, and just see what's going on towards the end of the month for you. If you like these messages, if they resonate with you, please comment below. That helps others and that also helps the channel. Please like and subscribe if you want to get more messages in the future. I greatly appreciate it. So this is the Shiji Oracle Cards deck of Pleiadian messages. So let's see where Pisces is at, Spirit. Please give us clear interpretations, concise messages. Thank you. Learn from the lessons. Can you see? No? Why is this not automatic? Sorry, I gotta get my focus going. Learn from the lessons and the realization of what we are telling you, which is you are the master of your own destiny. That's right, Pisces. You have control. I feel like there's another one, though, so let's see. For the end of May for Pisces, please. Pleiadian messages. Okay, wow, this is a really long one. Truly, your masters, saints, and sages are real, and they are no better than you. They just happen to be the messengers. Can you read this? <laughs> I'll get it figured out, Pisces, but for now, I'm just going to read it to you. Okay, truly, your masters, saints, and sages are real, and they are no better than you. They just happen to be the messengers who have come down through the dimensions to this physical plane in order to help you remember who you are assuming that you want to remember, whatever they can do, you can do too, because all of you are creator beings. That's right. So you are the creator of your own destiny. That's very important. Let's get some cards from Angels and Ancestors Oracle card deck. Let's see if we have any messages or a topic of focus. For the end of this month of May, from our ancestors or angels, please tell me about Pisces for the end of May. The collective of Pisces for the end of May. Okay. Protection Guardian it says, Go with the flow. These are really beautiful cards. So, drop your shield, it says, protection guardian. So, you have protection now, okay? Jupiter is here in your sign, so, yeah. Drop your shields. So, these messages combined are really kind of telling us to surrender, you know? Drop your shields. You are being protected at this time. Let's see what the Starseed Oracle has for Pisces for the end of May. I really like to do the more in-depth stuff because there's so many channels that talk about strictly love or, you know, just general messages. I like to look into the spiritual side of things, especially for Pisces because we are so spiritual. Thank you, Spirit. Please give us messages for Pisces for the end of this month second half of May. There they are. Oh, whoa. That just fell into my lap, right? And it says, fall into my arms. Surrender. Did I not just say that? We're so letting go this month. Surrender, holding the opposites, extremes of life. Fall into my arms. Okay. So, yeah, this is really not getting worried, not getting scared. It's just like, come what may type of energy. If something's coming in and it's uncomfortable, then we deal with it in the moment. But for now, we are protected. And Spirit really wants us to surrender because we are leveling up. Jupiter here, we're going to get this expansive energy into our spiritual side. 
So this is a great time for leveling up in your ascension journey. And just uh, spiritually speaking, this one says you got the love. Hadarian energy, codependency, boundaries. Okay, so we are working on codependency, I feel. Letting go of codependency, letting go, period. So if you were in a relationship, let's just say, of course, these are spiritual messages for now, but this is how we enter these phases of healing, you know. So let's say you're in a relationship and it ended abruptly or it ended recently. And the hardest part of that, a lot of times, is just being alone. You know, if you know it's not going to work out, or let's say you got in a huge fight and maybe it wasn't turning out the way you wanted, what it comes down to is you knew you weren't right for each other, you know, most likely. Or by surrendering, it's like, okay, if they come back around, all right, I'll deal with it then. Um, but I'm not going to worry about it, you know. But what's left is you alone with just you and your feelings. And if you don't deal with it and you want to go out or find someone else or whatever we do to fill that type of lonely loneliness void, um, you're just taking all that shit into the next into the next phase, into the next relationship. So boundaries are going to be important as far as our own personal boundaries of what we're willing to accept and what we're not. But when it comes to the overall and letting the universe and letting Jupiter bringing, uh, bring in a ton of blessings for us this month, we're letting go of codependency. We're falling into the arms of spirit and really just surrendering. And we're protected. Uh, we need to use this time to create and just allow these blessings to come in for us. So I really like this so far. Let's see. This Wisdom of the Oracle deck. We'll get a couple cards from here and then we'll start with the tarot. Tell me about Pisces, please, Spirit. And now to the end of May. Second half of May for the Pisces Collective. Thank you, Spirit. Pisces. Nope, that one called to me. That's way too many. But we'll get one more. Message in a bottle, number 15. I'm going to read it in a sec, so I want to pull one more and then a change in the wind. Okay. When I look at this card, where did I get these? When I look at this card, a change in the wind, I hope you can see these. It's a really cool zebra. It says a change in the wind, and it's number 12. But to me, this is like, it's such a tower moment. It's like the wind comes and it's blowing this <laughs> weird looking tower on the zebra's back. I don't know, that's just the message I'm getting internally. So let's read this first, number 12, and then we'll go to 15, message in a bottle. So, a change in the wind, a sense that unseen change has been initiated, uh-huh, preparation for a storm, awareness that your plans are not on firm ground, exactly. So I've really been feeling that too, and like I mentioned before, in relationships or career or whatever, things uh, haven't really been going the way we planned. <laughs> and that's okay, and that's why we have this need here to surrender. And change is good. Um, so let's continue this here. Awareness that your plans are not on firm ground. Feeling a shift, absolutely. Uncertainty about which direction the winds will blow. Absolutely. It says it's human nature to yearn for certainty and resist change. You want the world to remain consistent like a zebra stripes. Yet nothing in human experience is black and white, nor will anything remain static. The one thing guaranteed is change. Now is a time of transformation as outer conditions are temporarily moving out of sync with your desires and expectations. Okay, thank you, Spirit. This really resonates. So this is kind of a tower card then. So it really represents transformation. Um, that the changes, you know, that we don't see coming can bring in. This wind or this storm, being prepared for the storm. You know, it's like 
so much uncertainty and things definitely not going the way we thought uh, brings us to this point where it's saying we need to stay the course and remember that even storms serve to clear the air and scatter seeds and nourish the soil for better things ahead. Life is about to get interesting. Oh yes, we can feel that, can't we, Pisceans? Anticipate it with curiosity as you wonder what is coming in on the shifting winds. The unknown is where the magic lies. So that is so cool. That does open us up for so many new things, you know? When we're surrendering and open to what is possible. Let's read this message in a bottle now. Number 15, that might mean something to somebody. Message in a bottle, communication, a sign, a cledon, 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 C-L-E-D-O-N, I don't know. The ancient name for a spontaneous oracle delivered innocently by the speaker. So someone just talking and it's like a synchronicity for your life. You know, you run into somebody somewhere and they start talking about something you were just thinking about or something you read in a book or something you saw online and it just clicks for you like that was a synchronicity. They didn't know they were giving me a synchronicity, you know, but they did and they played a part in that. And uh, this says that they would be pointing the way to your highest good. So, Spirit sends you signs when you ask for them. So, if you're feeling uncertain, if you're feeling like things aren't going your way, this is such a good time to really ask for the signs for where you should be headed. When you believe, you will receive them. And when you allow yourself to become fluent in the language of symbols, oracles, and omens, they may come to you as a bird flying by, a logo on a truck, and a song on the radio. Expect confirmation that you're pointed in the right direction. Keep your ears open for someone, might just say, the right thing that will give you the answer to your query. Today your message is this, Spirit hears you, and the reply is favorable. So you're on the right track, you're on the right target, if you need confirmation from Spirit that... Uh, the universe is willing to do that. So, please do that. Please ask Spirit if you need confirmation. These are uncertain times, I mean, for everybody. But I know Pisceans are definitely leveling up. Jupiter's here. It's calling for expansion from us. And we know this. You know, things start to fall apart because it's time to level up. It's time to rebuild. And we may not be able to see the outcome right away, right now. But that's just something you get more excited about, right? Because you are the master of your own destiny. Exactly. Okay, let's pull a few tarot for Pisces. And now to the end of May, please, Spirit. That one wants to jump out. Okay, Four of Swords. Healing. Relaxing. Resting. Meditation. Prayer. Calm energy. Uh, also, re realization. Reconciliate, like reconciling in your mind. Not reconciling with the person, but reconciling in your mind. The past issues or going over something in your mind, like just trying to gain some kind of clarity. Um, it is a mental energy, but it is resting. Tell me more, please, for Pisces from now to the end of this month, May 2021. Queen of Wands. Okay, so this is going to be your energy. Getting fired up, going after what you want. Badass, super hot, sexy, confident. <laughs> fiery as hell okay so a little bit of rest a little bit is like maybe getting your beauty sleep on taking care of you pampering yourself getting your hair done uh and for males doing whatever you do getting a haircut or you know treating yourself to some new clothes 
So this is taking care of you. This is becoming your best, hottest, most attractive version ever. She goes for what she wants. Queen of Wands is fiery. And she's super hot. <laughs> I'm just saying. She's passionate. She's creative. I'm liking this for Pisces. Don't be thinking that you're super hot to trot though, okay? Seriously, you don't want to get too cocky because Jupiter is here in Pisces. And we are putting ourselves first and we are resting and relaxing and we're dealing with what's coming in and we're not worrying about it, we're surrendering to it, but we're just going with the flow of Jupiter. And this energy, you know, sometimes Jupiter is larger than life. And Jupiter in your sign, whether you have Pisces moon, rising Venus, doesn't matter. We're feeling that expansion. And so you're going to be very attractive this month and to a lot of people. Actually, until the end of July, you're going to be feeling very attractive and people are going to be drawn to you. So don't let it go to your head, okay? That's it. But do feel good about yourself. Do pamper yourself. Do rest and relax. Let's see what else for Pisces. Okay, investing. This could be investing in yourself, planting the seeds for the future, creating new goals in your mind. Jupiter is also helping us with those new goals, um, with this expansive energy coming in spiritually. And the death card could have been dealing with a Scorpio. Um, but there's definitely an ending here. You could be putting an ending to an old cycle. Um, you could be putting an ending to something you, you were putting in a lot of effort in. Maybe you were putting effort into a relationship or a career choice that you weren't seeing uh, really any benefits from. Seven of Pentacles is like you plant the seeds, but you've yet to harvest. So you could have been putting in the effort, really putting in the work, dedicated and hoping to see something come out of it, but instead it ended. Okay? And that's fine. Endings are good, just like this change in the wind. It could have been unexpected. It could have been like a tower moment for you. But that's good because it brings this new energy, this new BA, hot ass, <laughs> Queen of Wands energy that is getting you excited for your future. Confident. Don't stress over the ending that has occurred. And don't cry over these lost pinnacles, okay? Because you weren't getting anything out of it anyways. Anything else for Pisces for the end of this month? Yeah. Okay, I was just thinking healing. I just heard the word healing. So, I know I said it before with the Four of Swords, but Three of Swords, do not go back. Okay, don't go backwards. We're focused on healing the end of this month, so if we're healing a heartbreak, then that's what we're doing possibly from this ending. Could have been a Scorpio, could have been a Leo. We have air and earth as well. So, this heartbreak, whether it was relationship or just something not going your way, you know, you could have put in all of your efforts towards your career and it didn't work out. Whatever this is for you, seeing the four come out, this is... The main focus first is rex is the rest and relaxation and the healing. So don't stay in this heartbreak energy. Don't revisit this again and again. If it's over, let it be over. And this is the time when we need to really surrender to what is and let go of this codependency here that Spirit is talking about. Anything else? The lover. Okay, this is enough. That's enough, spirit. <laughs> I'm really feeling this is healing from a heartbreak. Obviously, there was a choice that needed to be made. I feel like you clearly made that choice. Uh, the lovers is a loving card. It can be, but it's the card of choice. So, obviously, there was heartbreak. Probably had to do with the relationship, but a choice was made. Things have changed. On the bottom, you have Five of Pentacles. So somebody feels left out in the cold, possibly abandonment. But you know what Spirit has been telling me again and again over the last few weeks is this feeling of loneliness, of this left out in the cold, or this feeling of lack or insecurity. It really stems from a codependency. Uh, abandonment issues, especially in your youth, 
will trigger that throughout your whole life to where you just think everyone's going to leave you and then you never want to be alone and then you'll stick with horrible situations or people or careers or whatever it is because you can't deal with that with that codependent abandonment issue in order to be independent and be self-reliant and be okay when you're home alone and no one's around and your cat doesn't even want to lay with you but you're just there with your feelings and yourself and you shut off the TV and you put down the book and you just sit with yourself and spirit and just cry it out, baby. Okay? That's what you got to do. You just face it. You let it come up. You let the emotion come up from your childhood and you cry it out. And then you can, if you want to, you could relive all these heartaches and how they coincide with your childhood and if you really want to heal. But you don't have to. Go back to your childhood and heal those things. If this is about a lover, it's okay to let this die, okay? If they want to come back around, if they try to come back around, that's up to you. You have every right to choose that. I, we do have Seven of Swords on the bottom now that I shuffled again. So this could have been an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but you didn't trust this person. Okay, either that or they ran. They could have ran from their problems. They could be the type that runs from conflict. And or that could be your energy. But this person is uh, sneaky. Okay, you may have felt like they were deceiving you, hiding something from you. Or they just weren't giving you their all. This is the type of person that will take from you. Okay, and they'll lie and they'll cheat and they're just out for themselves. So if that's the type of person you're dealing with, it's really best to just let this go. Could have been a Gemini with the Lover's card here. What next? Tell me what Pisces has to look forward to in love. Okay, after this healing is done. I'm not talking about jumping into new love right away. I'm talking about when the time is right. Okay, Knight of Wands. So, someone will come in very passionate, very creative energy. There will be a lot of uh, sexual chemistry and attraction to each other. Knight of Wands is fire energy. So this could be Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. This could be, if you're already dealing with a Leo, Sag, or Aries, trying to come back. Sometimes I feel like that when the cards are facing backwards, um, like this Knight of Wands is. But doesn't have to be. That's up to you. King of Swords on the bottom. So... I feel that if you were dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, you probably cut this person out, okay? I feel like this was your decision because you're feeling yourself right now. It's like you're not worrying about the losses. There is some sort of emotional attachment still here. Um, but you're letting this Scorpio energy, this death energy, another tower energy actually, come in and transform you. So healing this heartbreak, like I mentioned, the childhood issues, I mean, that's a must. That's like the soul work that we're called to do. Uh, the shadow work that you need to do in order to level up anyways. So do deal with that if you haven't already. If someone comes back in, we do have air here. King of Swords is very logical. He's Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. He's a clear communicator. He knows what he wants. He's diligent and he's disciplined. He's strategic. Uh, this man has been through many battles and he has gone through his own transformation. You can see the butterflies behind him on his throne. So that's up to you. Uh, it seems like you will have a few options. There is soulmate energy coming in after this king of swords. So it's up to you. You could deal with a knight or you could deal with a king. You could have multiple options right now, Pisces. Uh, and that's just going to be up to you. But I would say don't jump into anything. See, and we've got Empress, okay? It becomes very clear to you who you want towards the end of this month. And uh, let me be clear about this too. The 29th, Mercury goes retrograde. So try to make up your mind <laughs> if anyone's even in the picture before that date. If not, just wait. Just wait it out until like mid-July when the post-shadow period of Mercury retrograde will be gone. This is a soulmate energy, but these are equal, okay? These are equal cups. She gives as much as he gives. 
or whatever. However you identify, okay? It's equal. So if it's not equal, then it's not soulmate. It's not that type of energy. It is passionate. It seems very logical. This person is grounded, but, uh, you know, that energy can be hard to deal with. Eight of Swords is clarity. And you're the Empress. I mean, you're hot shit. I'm telling you, Pisces, don't sleep on your attraction abilities from now until July. Okay, I wish this would focus. I don't know how to do it. Anyways, Empress energy, Queen of Wands energy. You can create and have anything you want. You are fertile myrtle too. So be careful if you're, you know, messing with the Knight of Wands in a very passionate, fiery, sexual way. Uh, if that happens, you got to protect yourself and be careful because Jupiter brings babies too, okay? Ace of Swords, something becomes very clear here towards the end of this month, so don't let Mercury retrograde on the 29th twist, twist it around in your head. Saturn is going to go retrograde here in a few days, actually. On the 22nd, I believe it starts, into the 23rd. So it's going to feel like, it's going to feel like your life is coming to a stop. So if you don't have all this shit figured out by then, that's fine. Saturn wants you to get serious. So Saturn is going to ask you in during its retrograde period, what do you want? And, and get serious. And is this what you want it to feel like? You know, is this what you really want to commit to? And if not, don't do it. It's clear. See, it's clear here what you want. You want Ten of Cups. You want emotional fulfillment. You want everything that this life has to offer. You want soulmate. Okay? And it seems like you're just going to wait for it. These are all the cards on the bottom, but they're speaking to me. So this Three of Wands, it's like, yeah, you're calling something in. You're waiting for your ships to come in. Like, you're not playing around with these dudes, these knights, these kings, whoever wants to come in. If it's not Ten of Cups... You ain't having it. You will cut them out with this Ace of Swords. So you're just going to wait and see. You don't have to make any decisions right now. We do have somebody coming back around from your past. Could be a water sign, but this is just a page. Okay, this is not a king. This could be an apology. Coming back to ask for forgiveness. Coming back with messages of love. And that's going to be up to you if you want to revisit that or not. But it seems like this, this actually, this past, if you're talking about an ex, this is Nine of Cups energy surrounding this ex. Okay, this is what you had in your mind of possible emotional fulfillment. But it's not the ten, it's just the nine. It could have been your perception that it was going to be everything to you and you found out it wasn't. So during Mercury Retrograde, please don't go back and try to revisit this past Six of Cups energy as if it's the ten when really you know it's just the nine. Okay, Nine of Cups also represents independence emotionally. It's having all your cups filled on your own. So once you reach that point where you are emotionally independent, Pisces, you will be feeling amazing. Then Empress energy, Queen of Wands times infinity goes nuts for you. Then you're attracting soulmate energy. Let's see what the angel's guidance is. Okay, that jumped right out. Life purpose. Oh my gosh. I know. That's what we're supposed to be focused on, right, Pisces? See, all these dudes, let me just be honest here, if, and women, you know, if you're a male watching, but I doubt it. Most of my viewers are female. Anyways, they will distract you. And Pisces, you are so loving. You'll just give and give and give and give and hope for reciprocity. And if they're good at it, they're, they're going to hide it from you. That they never intend on giving you as much as you've given them. So don't let them distract you from your life purpose. You're protected now. You can create and be the master of your own destiny. Fall into spirit's arms. 
surrender. We have to get rid of this codependency and put firm boundaries in right now for the end of this month before Saturn goes retrograde. You literally have like five days to get serious about your boundaries and focus on your life purpose because that's why Jupiter is here for you now, to give you a taste of what you can have towards the end of this year in December and next year, 2022. Major life changes for Pisces. Major up-leveling and ascension for Pisces. So don't let these people distract you unless you know a thousand percent in your heart they want what's best for you and they will let you, allow you to put yourself first and not try to hurt you or use you or take advantage of you. Let's read this. Life purpose. The purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose. Then your purpose will serve you. So this is for those of you who don't know like your life purpose. Pisces, you're a healer. You're a natural born healer. So people come to you for advice. They come to you to vent. They come to you because you absorb their energy and you make them feel better. Okay? So that's why you have to take care of yourself first. The empath in you needs rest. You need to revitalize. You need to heal yourself or else you won't be able to heal anybody else. And that is one of Pisces' major life purposes. Some are more creative, you know, some are artists. It depends on you, of course, and the rest of your birth chart. But right now, this is the time to focus on you. What makes you happy? What brings you joy? And how can helping others help you? How can serving others right now serve you? If you know something, if you've been through something healing, that's what you teach about. That's what you can do to help others. So thank you. Oh look, notice the signs. It was right on the bottom. Yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you are loved and never alone. See, we're fighting all these codependency issues, Pisces, but you're never alone in reality, and you know that. And we already saw this message in a bottle, so you are definitely getting higher guidance this month for the rest of May. Follow these signs. Follow the guidance because it's, it's leading you towards a higher level of your life purpose. This is your job right now. Don't worry about love. I know you're not worried about love because you're hot shit this month. Don't let it get to your head. Focus on your healing and go after this life purpose. I love you Pisces. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.